guys, what's going on? It's me, Jelly Billy Joe, back here with the next episode of our Iceni Total War 2 Let's Play. Now, this is going pretty well at the moment. Uh, we've nearly just united Britain. However, we have to fight this one major battle here in this episode to conquer Wales, and then it's onto Ireland. So, to secure the whole of Britain, we've just got to reconquer the Wales, which we sadly lost at the end of the last episode, uh, because, well, I didn't expect these guys to go to war with me as soon as they did, but... Uh, well, an error in my part. But what's changed from last episode that's really important? Well, the weather is absolutely boiling before we get started. In fact, I'll just say play the L. Battle, sorry. It's absolutely boiling. My shirt is stuck to me. It is horrible. So I thought I'd do what any sane person would do when it's lovely weather outside. And that's play PC games. Because that's obviously what you should do when it's lovely weather outside. And I've also decided in my infinite wisdom to make a hot drink, um, a cup of tea. Although it's the English drink and I absolutely love tea, uh, it might not have been the best uh, choice of drink uh, in hindsight. But alas, I am ready with the cup of tea, which I will take a sip of now. Which just tastes fantastic in my opinion. Okay, so we're in the battle, let's do this then. So, we've got a hell of a lot of units. I didn't think they have as strong melee units as we do, regardless, anyway. This is one of my... This army has been given a small amount of time to recuperate from its battle down uh, up north, sorry. Uh, we've kitted out with some new chariots, etc, but... Right, so they're going to be attacking me. Don't look at the force that's attacking. Are they just readjusting or are they coming straight at me? I'm not too sure at the moment. We'll soon find out. So, the terrain, really. I mean, we've got some trees on the left there we can use my cav in, actually. That might be a good option. Uh, if we move these guys right hand here. Uh, around the right hand flank, we'll move my horsemen to the, up on the hill. Really, I'll do the same with my chariots. So if they come through this valley, I'm going to smash down in the side of them. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll set up a, where's the most narrow point, or the best point, probably here, to be honest. Like so. Move these guys forward, we'll put our archers in two separate segments, so, there. Like that, and then you two can go. In fact, we'll just have all of our archers on one side, I think would be the best thing to do. Get a group of these spearmen to come back them up on this side as fast as possible. That should be our formation about done. Now, a bit of a strange formation, but I'm hoping that when they advance, they're going to advance over in a straight line and see where this army's going to go. Go straight, so I'm hoping that they don't veer off really and um, try, try to attack my archers. But I mean, saying that, by the time I suppose they get out, oh, they're adjusting. By the time they get close to us, there'll be the spearmen there, and they would have t probably took quite a lot of casualties because of the archers on the hill, so... Hopefully this is a quite a uh, good technique to adopt. Well, hopefully, anyway. So we've got a shield formation. That looks like a Roman shield, actually, there in the middle. Uh, kind of like a Swabi shield there. More Roman shield. Just shield kind of mix and mash from a range of different cultures. Actually, that's a gladiator shield, that one. Look at that. I kind of like that, really diversity in shields and stuff because you know it, it it's kind of the armory or the the arms that um, these type of tribes weaponry and soldiers would have consisted of is you know scavenged stuff a lot of it apart from the uh, the great ironworks back then that they used to make the best swords around you know in these kind of places they would be long iron swords um, or it might have been steel swords and I think it was iron um, you know it, really we have an advantage, um, considering. If we can actually sort this unit card out. Whoever made these unit cards in the Rome 2 development team is a fucking idiot. Probably not the first person to say that. Not very nice, are they? Right, so... Oh, they're waiting for more reinforcements. Okay, we'll fast forward them. Get everyone in position, get my two spearmen over here to uh, do their thing. I don't think enemy can actually come up there, though. No, they can't. And cut there though, so we'll position our spearmen in a long thin line there. We got chariots around the side. Oh, they're coming actually. Hold on, let's play. Levy free men. Cavalry. 
Looks like actually a large portion of the army is coming over to this side, which isn't really what I wanted, I'll be honest. Uh, not great. Get them to pile out, uh, get these guys to pile out I suppose as well. have a lot of units up here doing little to nothing, so we'll move them around. Move them forward, move them forward, move them forward. Chariots. Uh, just trying to think what we can do here. Move our archers back because they're a bit danger close. Like so. If I can move them around really, can't we, with the calf? Uh, that'll probably be the best course of action. Move them around there. Uh, oh, they're trying to come up actually. Oh, they tried, no, they're charging down. Don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. The spears. That would hurt a lot. Oh shit, they caught a lot of my archers. Get back. I need a kind of run up with them. Let's hope and get these guys around. These picked warriors should make quick work of uh, his levies. Or pick marauders, sorry, not even pick warriors anymore. We should be good, really, to be honest. Get them to move out of the way and then just get them to charge them. And that should work about fine to be honest. Please don't say you just ranged units I'm gonna cry. Although they are do do quite a lot of damage. Look have oh shit. Didn't realise that. Might wanna pay attention a little bit more in the future. And it's got our chariots to actually get in there and get some. The heroic nobles must be an interesting battle. This one. Oh shit! All these short kind of heroic nobles. Have a look at my pit marauders. Okay, so the heroic nobles have a definite advantage there. Get them to attack those more ferociously. Get these to go into the back of them. They've pretty much ran all them down. In fact, no, we'll just get the cav to go after them actually. Like so. Oh no, like that. Uh, you guys and God, this. Pain in the ass trying to manage. Uh, you there, sir? No, not you. You and you. Go into them. Okay, that should mop that up pretty quickly, I would imagine. Uh, chariots back over here. Let's get the archers lined back up. We'll try and bring all these men over the hill. You still not managed to do that. Hurry up, man. That oh, the pit marauders. Oh. Wait, the pit marauders actually winning quite comfortable. Well, no, actually, wait. No, whoa, no, they're not. I lied. Jesus. That was quite a difficult unit. Got the archers to deal with the rest of them. They should be able to deal with them, I'm hoping, before they get there. It's a quick reload as well. Not bad at all. That should help, yeah, get rid of those nobles there, which were causing a bit of an issue. We'll line up our men here before charging for the best effect. I think we're just about to wrap this up. Um, that's quite a good battle so far. Oh, shit. Run, motherfuckers. Uh, we'll get you to come back down to them then. Okay, I'm running. In fact, you lure them. You guys stop. 
Oh, oh no, we can do that, that's fine. Yeah, they won't last for long. Yeah, they're gonna run. All right, let's go back. Let's go after them. They're gone. What we've got here that's stopping uh, heroic nobles again. So we need to get some help into there. Well, we'll get them to run them down. Pull them back around here. That would be fine. These heroic nobles. Uh, I, I suppose morale uh, lost really. Mind you, they have lost. I don't know, they haven't even lost half yet, so it must be more morale based than kill count or death count. Have a look here, so we've lost you know, a fair few men in this battle, but really we've still got the bulk of our army strong, which is kind of where I wanted to be at the end of this battle really, because we're going to need to, qu I mean, what I'm kind of thinking is if we go straight and do a counter attack, do as much damage as we can and see if we can actually pull off a victory and take that town, I mean they've only got one town, I mean, it's mainly just about choosing the right moment to uh, to attack, really. Let's get all my cav, which should be here. Just get them into there. We'll be able to crumble them pretty quickly, I would assume. Two groups of them over there. That should do fine. Well, they're still fresh and active, which is my... I mean, that's one thing I've noticed about playing as Rome for so long, what I have done. Uh, I played Rome and a lot of um, Mediterranean factions like uh, Carthage and... Uh, not that's not Mediterranean. Um, well, I've played Carthage uh, and you know, Sparta, Athens, that type of thing. That when I get uh, a faction like this where the units are a lot lighter, a lot weaker, but a lot lighter, then I, I find myself surprised a lot of the time at how... Um, how you know agile and really stamina wise how much they have to give compared to the troops I'm usually dealing with as you can see there we have won that battle he's down let's have a look see what options it gives us here shame we haven't completely finished them off they've got a bit left but they've run into the territory where I'm about to go and take so hopefully we should be able to take this quite swiftly uh, let's have a look oh we've got 120 tri tribal chiefs on our side now as well We'll go for that, yep. Go for one zeal and better swordsman. Let's just auto resolve this, no point wasting time. In the foot and in the shoulder. Lovely. Jabalay. How many men did I lose? I lost eight men. It's eight men too many, but you know, whatever. Won't kill me. Alright, let's do this as well. We'll just get rid of these. The farmers were quick to turn against me, weren't they? Jesus. Well, get nutted. <laughs> okay, so that about rounds that up. Occupy. There we have it. Finally, after five parts of this season, or se season? I'm talking as if it's a TV show. Part Five parts of this series, we have finally conquered the whole of Britain. Which is great. It really is. That's awesome. Um, I'm actually quite happy now. Uh, you know, that's that, that's what I wanted to do on this game for quite a while. Uh, and it's took until now to actually get around to doing it properly. And now we just have to really focus on, uh, well, advancing as much as we possibly can, I suppose. So we've got an army up north there, which we're going to leave stationed there for the time being. I might add a few units to that, actually, while we're here. Let's have a look. I haven't really got any available really high end men there though. Let's have a look see what we can do down here. Got some more upgrades to do. Got some bow, better bowmen as well. Let's have a look then. So, one, two, three, four. We've got eight groups of picked um, marauders. That should be enough really. We've got some Britain noble infantry now. If I'm correct in thinking, they look better. So, we're going to need another group of cav. By the looks of things, wherever the cavalry is, where's my cav? Can I not recruit any cav here? I'm not sure actually. Can I recruit cav here? Where's my... How have I got these units then? I'm confused. Maybe I've just done something derpy, I'm not really sure. Let's start training another army back here then. Okay, wow, well, are these oak bearers? Wow, there's so many units to choose from here. 
slingers, take some heavy artillery there, chariots, there we go. What are we training up here? Forgot. Oh, I didn't train anything, okay. I'll train a few of them then. Uh, wait, hold on. Get rid of one of them and put in another group of that. Okay, and that'll do. Oh, oh yeah, edict. There we go, talking about controlling hold a button. I need to quite put an edict on. Let's have a look. Plus 1,000. Wow, look at that. Plus 10% piracy penalties in the local sea region, plus 5% corruption. Oh. I don't know. I don't know how much that makes us a turn, but whatever, let's do it for the time being. I don't see any reason why not. If things go really negative, like in terms of corruption later on, then, uh. Though we'll obviously, we'll have to rethink that edict. But, I mean, plus 5%, I mean, it's not that much. I don't think I've got that much, generally, in my entire nation, luckily. Uh, let's have a look. 11 Gravitas. I'm gonna stop it. I don't want anyone from my family being, uh. converted as such. Three turns, oh yeah, because they're all in the same uh, same province, so it's going to take a while. They are training troops up pretty quickly, actually, Jesus. Uh, get that guy down there as fast as possible, start causing a little bit of havoc until we arrive. Upgrade the docks. What's up? Uh, nah, that's not really worth it. In fact, we're still a bit unstable, aren't we, until we get things under control. Right. Okay, so not too bad. Wow, yeah, we're making a lot more money now per turn. Jesus Christ. Um, compared to what we're making. I think we're on 3,800. And as soon as I've just put the edict in, we're, we're, we've sold all the way to 5,800. Which is going to give us a nice boost. And, well, for our economy especially now. I've captured the whole of Britain. I mean, once this war's over, you know, we'll... I don't suppose it will be very long we can look towards Europe and moving on that way but first of all first things first obviously is getting my economy sorted out go some more Let's have a look what units we got over here now our spies just about to arrive we'll bring you up okay so chariots oh, we've got heroic noble spears there some mercenary units that's fine let's cause a little bit of head in the town first Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Come on. I just got you over there. Get some people starting to consider the time it takes to do this type of thing, you know. I think what I do need to do, actually, is actually have a look at my um, diplomacy. That's one thing that I haven't actually done yet on this properly. So that's probably where I'm going to have to go from here for a little while. The longer I leave this, though, I get, I, I've come to a very... Uh, unfortunate predicament with them being there it's good is that the longer I leave it the more troops they get but the problem being is that it's well I don't really have any men to uh, you know go over there and take it so I'm in a kind of horrible situation at the moment but I suppose we'll have to look as time goes what happens hoping they don't attack first if I could bring this army across to here and actually uh, do it that way, that would be a hell of a lot better. Which bowman do I have? There? No. Which bowman had the longest range? Was it? I swear I had some in this army that were longer than that. 170 range. Yes, I did. So where are they? Why are you just being blind here, people, or what? Same ray get longer bowman. Nope. Okay, confused, but whatever. We'll just have to deal with it. Go for the next best thing. This is some slingers, and then the army will be ready to take over there and support, which should be good. It's gonna cost a lot of upkeep, but hopefully after we've captured Eblana, things will start looking up. And I just forgot to do diplomacy again. So that'll probably be the last thing of this episode. We'll have a look at our diplomacy, see where we are. Then we'll see about getting ready in the next episode to make a move over to Ireland and conquer in the name of Britannia. Which should be cool.
and lots of promotions etc always good to see wow look at that yeah we'll have that one okay more researching we'll go up the boatyard again it's going to be coming in very important when we're raiding uh, Europe to have a good boatyard and navy um, so with that in mind we're gonna ha oh he's back hello send you back over there and last but not least let's have a look at our diplomacy then so at the moment we're kind of friendly with the Namantes um, and they have I believe taken over another faction that used to be here yeah, I, I I think so. I think there used to be another faction there. I'm neutral with them. Uh, neutral with them as well. So, really about neutral with Europe. They're not really too fussed. Uh, they are friendly, actually, with them, which is not cool. Well, not friendly, actually. They're just kind of neutral as well. So, they don't really seem to give much of a shit about what's happening over here, which is good for me. The but, uh, at the moment. No, I thought that then. Okay. Uh, okay, so that rounds it about up for this episode, guys. We have finally conquered Britain. There it is on the beautiful map. And now we can look towards taking Caledonia, or as we call it, Ireland. And from there, we can start branching out. And one day, my friends, we will make it down to here, and here, and here, and we will conquer the entire planet. That's kind of what I'm hoping, anyway. So, guys. I will see you guys in a little while. If you enjoyed this episode, then please give it a thumbs up on the video and show your support. If you've got any comments or suggestions, then please do shed them in the comment section down below of this video. And if you enjoy other videos of mine as well, then do, of course, subscribe for any future content. If not, I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks for watching.